a young piece of defense that we inquired in Jalen Carter, who had his pro day today, mm-hmm. that yeah. was less than stellar. Less than stellar, to say the least. Or we could talk about possibly Derek. Let's talk Jalen Carter. Let's talk Jalen Carter. Did you see? You, you hear the news? I did hear the news. You, you're you one of the, you've been the, one of the biggest proponents yeah. all, all the way through. Yeah. I'm gonna let you take center stage first. So Jalen Carter apparently showed up to his pro day nine pounds heavier than he was oh, at the combine. We have a tweet here about it. Yeah, here it is. Uh, ESPN update from Jalen Carter's pro day. He was nine pounds heavier than at the NFL combine. He couldn't finish his position drills. He, wait, he couldn't finish? That's what it says. He couldn't finish his position drills. Said he was cramping up and he's breathing heavily. When wow. you look at it. The guy's having one of the most stressful periods of his life right now. Yeah. Let alone the whole draft thing and everything going on there. He's got everything going on with, with the situation of being arrested or having warrants put out for his arrest. It's tough. It's tough to see this. This definitely doesn't help his case. But I'm still drafting him. <laughs> I'm still taking him at six. Like, it's, it sucks to hear that. It really does. And I don't think the Lions will take him, no. Because that plays into the do you love, do you eat and breathe this shit, you know, mm-hmm. that kind of, that kind of motto that Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes have, have put forward. But man, he he's going through it right now. So you can't expect him to be in a good mental state right now with everything that's swirling around. He put on some weight and didn't look good as pro day, which is not great. It's not a good situation. But I'm still taking him. <laughs> Personally. Yeah, I know the uh Mike Tomlin was there today. Uh, Arthur Smith was there today. I'm, I'm trying to find confirmation if the Detroit Lions were there today because I, I know they're at another pro day. Like I can't think of what it was on top of my head, but to have nobody there at the pro day as well, like that's got to be a little bit of a sign too. Uh, <laughs> what they think of Jalen? Oh, <laughs> beyond Jalen Card, Nolan Smith was there as well. Michael Lunchy says Spencer is in an abusive relationship when the thought of what Jalen Carter could have been. Seriously, I swear he's gonna be good. I swear he'll change. JB, do you have Twitter on your laptop in there? Uh, not on no laptop, but on my phone. Can you type in like the words of Jalen Carter, uh, Pro Day, Detroit Lions, or just Lions? Yeah. I, I'm trying to find some relevance to the Detroit Lions were there because like, I'm kind of concerned about that a, a little bit just because beyond Jalen Carter, there's other prospects there as well. Darnell Washington, a lot of people like. Some of you nerds like Stenson Bennett. Um, Nolan Smith. I mean, there's a lot of prospects within that Georgia defense. I feel like the Detroit Lions, at least a scout or representative, should be present to have some conversations or something. I have nobody there, but I guess bringing it back to the main point of Jalen Carter not looking great today, I'm, I'm with you, Spinney. This is not a good sign. We've, we've Only two GMs drafting in the top ten showed up to Georgia's pro day. Yeah. Arthur Smith and I, I believe Mike Tomlin. Yeah. That's, uh, That's not good. It's not good, especially for us who wanted him at six. I guess so. You sound like you're you're straight on this. Like you're not you're not tripping over this. Not really. Uh, you have uh, Stockholm syndrome. You yeah, fell in love. Well, I guess it's, it's falling in love with the captain. He's gonna be fine. I yeah. swear. I swear he'll change. He'll, he'll change. be better. <laughs> this swear. time he's not gonna punch me in the face. <laughs> There's still something there as a prospect, though, right? There, I mean, oh, for sure. For sure, is still something there as a prospect. But I know that the, the Detroit Lions kind of lean on. I don't want to say character. Well, yeah, character. But I'm not talking character as in like I deliver, you know, I help deliver Girl Scout cookies and I donate to the church, you know, collection plate. No, I think character, like you said, like football guys, football guys, grinders, yeah. guys that 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 want to get it each and every way. Competition. I'm starting to uh, what's this called? Hustle hard verse. Each and every day. Um, Jalen Carter displayed that he it's, it's not a good sign. Yeah, he didn't participate in any drills at the combine. Had to leave early because of the whole situation of him getting arrested, and then to have. Like, this was supposed to be like, and I get it. I, I've been in stressful situations where you kind of just, maybe you just freeze up. But that's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. Because this is like the million dollars in the line. A lot, a lot. Of but I guess it does involve the death of a friend as well, though. Yeah. So I could see, like, falling a little bit of a d- depression. We're kind of like, but this is supposed to be your escape, too. I'm sorry. I'm having a mental wrestling match with myself and what he's to make of the, on, the situation. He's putting on nine pounds as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, you, you had your hand up. Chris, yeah. you put on nine pounds recently. I did. Thank you for noticing, Spencer. You're welcome. No, but doesn't it... <laughs> I pause for a second. Doesn't it... All this idea of having great guys in the locker room, having that work, work, work mentality, that culture, doesn't that allow you the luxury to bring in a guy like Jalen uh, Carter, who is a great prospect, who 
maybe isn't at least right now in this very moment all there between the years like isn't this the kind of the perfect culture like you're allowed to have quote unquote black sheep within the culture like if the culture is strong you're going to be able to transform this guy and we if he is the talent that we all believe he is then i think this is i think this is still a no-brainer move you would love everybody to be lunch pails go to work every day live breathe football but the truth is if you're if you got nine of those or ten of those guys in that room and the 11th guy isn't that he'll probably become that that's a good point you bring him into a culture that's already established of the work 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 grind your ass off you put him in there with guys that have been doing it guys that have been a part of that culture to kind of help him along the process i don't hate that at all and the clays you can't see it six stuff is <laughs> it's too much too JB, much mute yourself too much for clays you can't see at six I, I i can't i can't see that happening i uh i don't know man i, I don't think you i don't think you're afforded that luxury though because as much as like us as fans, like Detroit Lions have arrived. I, I think within the building, they, they are still, they're honest with themselves that this is still like a very young team. And when you have a, a talent like that, it's, it, he's going to naturally kind of become a leader. I'm sure he's going to get himself together at, at some point, but it, it does send the wrong message, you know? I mean, I know we had the Dominican Sue here, but he was never that. You never had to question his work ethic. No. Even when he didn't show up for like OTAs and stuff like that, you knew that he was putting in work on the side or, or coming into camp. It was just like with his, like, with his people, you know what I'm saying? With, with Jalen Carter, I just. And, and you, I mean, this but, this is where I think of it. And I'm just, I guess I'm like drawing out a scenario here, and this is completely hypothetical. But like someone like Aiden Hutchinson is is that type. He he is the Dan Campbell motor, like all that stuff. Him and Jalen Carter clashing, like no one like Aiden's putting this work. Aiden knows he's putting in this work. He has a guy with the potential to be great alongside him, and he just isn't putting him in the work to be there, or just freezing up in the big moments. Like I, I can see that clashing and it not being a good thing, but. I also never played on you know, professional football and been in that situation. But, okay, like your point of the Lions never being there as a championship organization and all that, like that's fair, but there's a difference between you don't necessarily have to be a champion to be a hard worker. And that's all we're talking about here is, is work ethic. If Jalen Carter's just around a bunch of guys who are working like Aiden Hutchinson and he sees the love that, ca- that he's getting from Campbell and Glenn in in the film sessions and on the sidelines and all of that and in the press like that's going to do something to you because you're a competitor because these guys are a team but at the end of the day you better believe Jalen Carter is going to want to have a better year than Aiden Hutchinson that's just that's just how it's going to be that's how but he is given that's that's how he's wired like what he's displayed though hasn't been that you know what I'm saying like if if you were like driven by that you would have showed up not nine pounds heavier than you were two weeks ago when your draft stock fell like this would be your moment to like solidify yourself as a top 10 pick and then there's that too is like okay you 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 fucked up with with, with the racing one of your friends and teammates died it's not even just like a teammate it's a friend because clearly you guys are hanging out together Mm -hmm. in that situation then you're given the opportunity to like regain that it just it, it shows I don't think the character issue is, is is there for me now too, I guess. And I and I get this is a different situation with a friend dying and, and that would probably lock you up more than anything else, but to know that you still ended the top ten pick despite all that, like you would just feel inv- invincible. And and I and I've been in those situations too. Like as a young man, I think we all have, up until like we fuck up one time and then God forbid, hopefully that's like right around your maturing, but yeah. like you feel invincible when you get away, when you're let off that one time by the cop or the police, or when you go to court and they're like, oh, you're young, we'll just let you go. Like, you're like, damn, I'm a fucking, like, I, I could do whatever, you mm-hmm. know, because you, you keep thinking I get away with it time and time again. But ultimately, there's going to come a day where it's just going to either delay you from becoming your ultimate or just fuck you in total. You going to say something? No, no, you're right, man. It, it's true. It's. <sighs> It's, time's the answer. It, time is the answer, and hopefully, you know, he, he makes some changes and, and gets back on the horse. I'd love to hear him have some comments about what happened or what, what's going on and why he put on the extra weight. But you got to think it's just under all the mental stress that he's under, mm-hmm. everything that he's going through. He hasn't been able to, to find himself to do that. But, man, that, that that's a good take. You're right. It's There is a time in every person's life where they realize, like, this is – I need to make some changes. I need to do something to better my life. I can't just keep falling into the same rut. Mm-hmm. And it looks like he's in that right now. So maybe it's 
you know, it's fight or flight. Like, what are you, you going to do? You're just going to keep running away from it, or are you going to attack it, go after it, and better yourself as a person? And I wanted to, and I guess I'll give him, like, this uh, floaty of excuses again. It's, it is a wild situation. It's all together. There, there is, like life-altering shit going on with him right now. One, having the, the 7 to 12, wherever he ends up getting drafted, mm-hmm. millions of dollars on the line in the scenario. Um, having won a national championship, ha- having your good friends, and I, mean, I, I can't speak of how close they were in a relationship, but obviously, again, still friends, <laughs> pass away from an act that you participated in. Like he, he probably is going through a lot of shit. Yeah, for sure. He I'm, really he really probably is. Jam he, Cat said, are the heavyweights fat-shaming right now? <laughs> Yeah, bro. Well, how, how are you gonna be nine pounds overweight? What the hell? Yeah. No, it's he's going through a lot right now, man. And so we'll see how he comes out of it. Hopefully, he comes out as a better man. Hopefully, he comes out with a new drive and a new up- outlook on life. That's what you can expect. But it's not that simple for everyone. Yeah. Like you said, you've been through it. I've been through it. There, I had times in my life where I felt like nothing was getting better. I mm-hmm. felt like I was at the bottom point of my life. I was doing terrible things. I was making terrible decisions. Farting in your sleep. Farting in my sleep. And. <laughs> I got through it, and obviously a lot of that came with a change of scenery for me, which was something that was, it forced my hand to get better, it forced my hand to to better myself as a person, and hopefully the same thing can happen with Jalen Carter, where he gets through this, and he becomes a better man at the end of it, and looks himself in the mirror and realizes the decisions he's making aren't for the betterment of himself or the people around him, which is what I had to do, which is what a lot of us had to do. Yeah. Big facts. I actually said facts that time. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Facts, bro. (laughs) Big facts, dude. I just need you to trust me. That's all. Please. So we'll see. We'll see. I feel bad for the guy, man. It's... Like I said, I've... I've, You know, I've told you about my situation and Mm -hmm. where I was at the lowest point of my life and it was not too long ago. Yeah. Under five years ago Yeah And I made the change And I bettered myself as a person And now I'm here now I, There were times of that Point in my life Where I thought I wouldn't be here now There was times of the point in my life Where I didn't see anything At the end of it Didn't see anything in the future Yeah And so sometimes You just gotta you know Like I said Look yourself in the mirror Realize that You make What you make out of the situation Is what's gonna be made out of it There's There's nothing that comes from Oh, what was me? And I don't want to say he's thinking like that because there are a lot of things he's going through right now for sure. But Mm -hmm. you you kind of need to just keep your chin up and keep keep thugging through it, man. Be accountable, too. Be accountable. Hold yourself accountable. Accept responsibility for what happened. Make sure it doesn't happen again in the future and keep moving on. Yeah, and and I guess like this, we did take a mature turn there for like like the heavyweight show. But like this, I've been to jail. Like I, I fucked up. Yeah. And I was given breaks in between then and like ending up in there. So by police and prosecutors and stuff like that. But I just again, you, you get that that invincible feeling, and I'm I'm just scared that if he still goes top ten, he's gonna have a little bit of that. Even though he may in the moment, like you know what I'm saying like, oh fuck, I fucked up. You still like once you're like, oh damn, like I'm straight. I don't, you know, I'll, I'll be good. Yeah. I still in the top ten. I still bought my mama crib, and it just it's a, it's a spooky road to go down. But we'll, we'll see. I, I I still actually wouldn't be mad they took him. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. I think everybody deserves you know second chances, more opportunities. I think he dropped it. We'll, we'll talent, the talent has proven to be there.